Whether you're an investor that just believes in the future of blockchain gaming, or you're a gamer that's looking for the next game that you're going to sink 10,000 hours into, you're going to want to hear what I have to say. And let me tell you with absolute confidence, the opportunity is not going to last long here. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Late Game Crypto. My name is Josh, and I'm here to help you find digital liberty in the complex world of crypto. Remember that anything you hear in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. I have come to understand the culture of Web3 well enough to know that there's already a bunch of people that are watching this video jumping into the comments section to shill their favorite Web3 game before I even have a chance to make my case here. So here's what we'll do. Go ahead and get it out of your system. Hit up the comments section. Let me know what your favorite Web3 game is. But while you're down there, I am expecting you to hit the like button because it is a give and take here. I will hear you out. I'll give you the time. But also, you've got to show the algorithm that you find this kind of content interesting. And nobody's going to see that comment if nobody's watching the video. So go ahead. Now, what exactly do I mean by the greatest opportunity in Web3 gaming? I'll tell you right now. I don't mean that it is the Web3 game that has the token price that will take off and shoot up with the highest market cap evaluation in the category of Web3 gaming by the end of this next bull market. Even if markets were perfectly rational to detect quality products, it is a competitive category in the industry of crypto. There are a lot of games out there that are further along in development compared to this one, and there are a lot less people that know about this one compared to any of the other major competitors in crypto gaming. But then again, that's also probably what makes this project such an amazing opportunity. Keep in mind that at least half of the tokens that went 100x in the last bull market started at a $40 million market cap. And this project was there at the beginning of this year, but it has since then appreciated to an $80 million market cap. This is exactly what major finance influencers are looking for, at least according to what I saw on Brian Jung's YouTube channel just last week. The amazing part of this project is that it is operating at a standard that is on par or above the standard of quality than some of the highly anticipated projects in this category. I firmly believe that by the end of this bull market, buying assets from any other project is not going to multiply your money as much as this project will, and that project is cornucopious. Just take a look at the other players in the industry, and I want you to pay attention to their following here. Shrapnel has 370,000 followers. Alluvium has 384,000 followers. Big Time has 292,000 followers. Star Atlas, 331,000. Block Lords has 223,000. And Cornucopius has 51.2 thousand followers. All of a sudden, it makes a little bit more sense why all of these popular projects are at a 150 million to 900 million dollar market cap in the state of the market right now, while Cornucopius is sitting at a pretty low evaluation. You can look at this one of two ways. One, Cornucopius is just a small project that's just getting ramped up and is operating with a smaller but very committed community. Or two, Cornucopius doesn't have anything exciting happening, and that's why it's got a smaller following, because nobody's excited about it. But let me explain to you why that is objectively the wrong way to look at it. I have been following Cornucopius closer than any other project over the past two years, and the only marketing that they have ever done, by intention, has been posting weekly videos on their YouTube channel, being active in social media, and really just interacting organically with their community. 
This is a strategy, and this is why I think that they are the best opportunity in Web3 Gaming right now, because they have been stockpiling their resources for the past two years to prepare to start to be hyper-aggressive on marketing, going into this next bull market when marketing is so much more effective than it is at any other time in the market. This is also why Kopi has gotten listed on four centralized exchanges just this year alone. Which, by the way, is exactly what I said needed to happen in order for them to be able to take off in this next bull market. And they're not stopping. They're still getting the word out there so that people can access this token everywhere. And if you've been watching Kopi Cafe, you know that they've also been partnering with multiple marketing agencies so that they can get the word out there as far as it will possibly go. These are all just the hooks that will bring people in extraordinarily quickly. But the quality of the game is really what's going to keep people in the community. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get tired of the use of the term AAA rated in the blockchain gaming space. It just feels like it's become such a buzzword in the space that was supposed to mean the highest industry leading levels of quality in every area of production. And when I say every area of production, I mean everything when it comes to the in-game features and the gameplay features and the, the quality of the graphics, which is, seems to be what people tend to refer to the most, but also the technology behind the product. Cornucopius is in the extreme minority of projects, even among the most highly anticipated games in the industry, that actually fulfills what those words are supposed to mean. Most games, even in the traditional sector, are still using just the standard Unreal Engine 5. Out of the passion and drive for quality behind this game, Cornucopius is operating on the latest Unreal Engine 5.3, which is said to be such a substantial upgrade that it honestly could have been its own game engine version on its own. Cornucopius is not just operating in the extreme minority of projects in Web3, they're operating in the extreme minority of games that are building all around the world, that are using the absolute most advanced gaming development technology on the planet. What they've done with these tools so far is almost as exciting as what they plan to do in the next one to four years in the future of this project. The future should be something that everybody plans for, which is why I recommend to all of my viewers that they start a digital asset IRA with iTrust Capital. The way a vast majority of us are navigating our way through the industry of cryptocurrency, we're losing a ton of value to taxes for absolutely no reason. Stop giving away money pointlessly. It's not something you have to do. So use my affiliate link down in the description below and get yourself $100 towards your first account with iTrust Capital. It is free money. You may as well take advantage of it. And now let's get back to the video. Rob and Josh have started referring to Cornucopius as a forever game, meaning that they plan on continuing to develop on top of this game for years into the future. A lot like what we've seen out of games like World of Warcraft. The difference here is that Cornucopius is currently and always will be a free-to-play game, so all of the value that is contributed and the ways that the new content develops and this universe expands, it will always be free-to-play and accessible for all players. I mean, certain asset owners will probably get earlier access to these various zones and the expanded content of the Cornucopius universe for testing purposes, but ultimately, it will all be free to play. If I understand their business model correctly, in the future of this game, a large portion of the revenue that is generated from this game will be from the royalties that are generated off of secondary market sales of assets associated with this game. Therefore, it is in this core team's best interest to provide as much free value as possible to players so that they spend more time within the Cornucopius universe, which ultimately makes assets associated with this game more valuable 
because there's more people interacting with it for longer. They have configured their own incentives in such a way where they are only making money if they make an incredible in-game experience that people want to keep coming back to. So they have to make things as valuable as possible for all players involved. And that's why I think that this is going to be the best opportunity in the entire industry of Web3 Gaming. All of that to say, I'm pretty confident that Cornucopius is going to be the largest in-game universe in all of Web3 and maybe of all time in the industry of gaming because they have configured their incentives to push them to make that happen. But it's not all about what I think. I want to know what you think. Do you think that Cornucopius is really onto something here that's going to blow the market away and really take advantage of that really high growth potential that they have from this point in the market? Let me know down in the comments section below or just leave a corn emoji for, you know, engagement. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose. Learn as much as you can about this space and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.